okay so let's start with the application of what just we studied just now suppose it's a rainy rainy day and uh, Tom suppose Tom is going to go to school in the morning so Tom is having an umbrella so that he doesn't get wet right like this so this umbrella is going to protect Tom from getting wet hopefully if the rain is falling vertically downward with being so disciplined that rain is not coming from any other direction it's just vertical so Tom is going to hold umbrella vertically upward and he's going to walk right now Tom suppose instead of walking he starts running or he starts walking very fast now what would happen will Tom have to keep his umbrella exact in the same position or will he have to tilt his umbrella this is what we will analyze uh, how the position of umbrella of Tom is going to change now let's start with whatever we have studied we'll analyze we'll think uh, from the perspective of vectors okay now the thing is that Tom will keep umbrella in the direction in which it will the rain would appear to be coming presently the rain is appear uh, rain appears to be coming uh, from uh, in a vertical line rain appears to be coming right vertically downward so Tom is keeping the umbrella vertically upward if suppose the rain would have appeared to be coming in this direction then Tom would have kept umbrella at the same angle the angle which the rain is waking from vertical the, at the same angle the Tom would have kept the umbrella right so it depends on the position of the umbrella of Tom depends on the in the direct on, on the direction from which the rain appears to be coming to Tom okay so <laughs> the thing is the rain is coming vertically downward and the Tom starts to run or it starts to move fast and the question is will he have to change the position the orientation of his umbrella now let's try and analyze we'll start we'll think from the perspective of vector now the velocity of rain with respect to Tom velocity of rain with respect to Tom will be velocity of rain minus velocity of Tom velocity of rain is vertically downward velocity of rain is like this this is velocity vector of rain velocity of Tom Tom is moving in this direction right hand side so negative of velocity of the minus VT with minus velocity of Tom is like this fine so velocity of rain minus velocity of Tom the summation of two will be velocity of rain with respect to Tom okay so we have learned something called parallelogram law of vector addition you remember this is the parallelogram and this will be the vector addition of these two vectors so this is actually the velocity of rain with respect to Tom so this is a velocity vector which Tom is going to gauge so Tom would think that the rain is coming in this direction. We'll, we'll try and understand from the practical uh, point of view why at all Tom would uh, think that rain is coming obliquely. But for now, this is what the vector algebra is telling us. Because as per the vector algebra, velocity of rain with respect to Tom is velocity of rain minus velocity of Tom. This is velocity of rain. This is minus velocity of Tom and the summation of two is this so rain would actually appear to come to be coming in this direction right if Tom at all starts to move now if Tom is moving and the, then the rain appears to be coming in this direction as per the vector algebra then Tom actually have to tilt his umbrella like this in order to get protected if Tom doesn't tilt his umbrella, rain is coming obliquely. If Tom is keeping the umbrella vertically, then what would happen? This part of rain, which just is outside the periphery of umbrella, is going to come to the Tom's foot and it may wet his trouser. Okay, so to 
to be protected fully the tom has tom has to change the orientation of umbrella to a certain angle and that angle would be the same angle as the angle which the rain is making with the vertical they are alternate angles right so this is what happens this is what vector algebra is telling us that the rain actually would appear to be coming in at an angle with vertical rain would appear to be coming obliquely now when i studied it for the first time i actually got stuck in this and it took me some tug of time to actually realize as to why it would be so if rain is coming vertical it would come vertical i mean rain would not come obliquely irrespective to the of the fact that tom is running or is it stationary rain is coming vertical now as now you should actually spend some time thinking this is coming from mathematics and no doubt this is uh, the right actual thing this is true the rain would appear to be coming obliquely but you should spend some time to realize as to why it would happen from physical point of view rain is coming vertically down you start moving and suddenly you realize that rain is coming obliquely as to why that would happen why your mind will interpret it in such a way that that rain would appear to be coming obliquely when the fact is the rain is coming vertically downwards it would be very interesting and this may be a stage at which actually you may inculcate some interest in physics and from here you may be on fire on the rest of the topic what you should do is spend some time and realize figure it out yourself as to why this will happen and what is the riddle here once you have thought then listen to the discussion i'm going to explain you why as to that will happen